In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use an application called Rocket X to bridge between over 115 different blockchains. These include common chains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Tron, and lesser known chains like BitTensor, Kujira, and other chains that don't really have any easily accessible bridges to them. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Before I get into the video, I want to remind you that nothing I say in this is financial advice. You should still do your own research and understand the risks of any crypto or DeFi applications. I also want to say that I don't have any affiliation with this exchange beyond an affiliate link, which anyone can make. I'm just sharing it because I've personally found it to be really useful and I thought that some of you might as well. Now let's get into the video. The website is rocketx.exchange. You can see here that their value proposition as stated by them is that they claim to be cheaper, faster, and more secure, and they seamlessly unite blockchains. And you know they say this here, and this is honestly something I've found to be true, is that it's a one-stop shop for the best rates, both on-chain and for cross-chain swaps. And the way they do this is that they aggregate swaps between decentralized exchanges, centralized exchanges, and tap into all of that liquidity and all of those pairs, but then present it to you in what's really a simple, easy to use interface, where to you it just feels like you're swapping between two coins. All right, so let's launch the app. You click on launch app here, and it's gonna bring you to app.rocketx.exchange. You'll have to connect your wallet. And again, it's compatible with pretty much every chain you could think of, right? I mean, there's probably some lesser used, very small chains, but I mean, even most of the lesser used chains, truthfully, are also accessible on here. Uh, but I'm going to connect an Ethereum wallet. I'm going to connect my MetaMask. This is my demo MetaMask. And uh, what you do here is, like I mentioned before, it basically just looks like a normal swap. I'll zoom in a bit. And so here we're swapping between Ethereum and I had it set to Kajira before, but you can look here, there's a lot of networks. You could, for example, swap to Solana and you could swap to all of these different tokens on Solana. You could swap to Tron. I know that that's probably a popular one because a lot of people are swapping stable coins to Tron for transferring them between uh, exchanges. So for example, if you wanted to swap ETH USDT to Tron USDT, you would change the Ethereum token to USDT and then Tron USDT. And then you could swap just as if you were making any other swap on a decentralized exchange, but it's actually gonna move it between your two wallets on different chains. Another one that could be good would be some things in the Cosmos ecosystem. Cosmos ecosystem has a lot of different chains, but they're notoriously difficult to access. So you could bridge to Cosmos Hub and you could bridge to a lot of other Cosmos chains on here as well like Akash, like Osmosis, uh, and, and also Kujira is on here as well, and, and others. So like I said, tons and tons of different chains, and that's really what caught my eye with this, is I was trying to use some of these lesser known chains, and I didn't couldn't really find a good bridge to it. You can bridge to Cardano, for example. Um, for example, BitTensor. I couldn't find a bridge to BitTensor, and then I came across RocketX and said, oh, you can actually bridge to RocketX. Uh, you can bridge to BitTensor with RocketX. Uh, but uh, in this example, we're going to use Solana. And I actually have another video on how to use RocketX for Solana. But we're going to go from Ethereum mainnet and we're going to bridge swap right over to the Solana network. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swap some ETH for some Sol. And it's going to be you know as simple as making any other swap on chain and for the purposes of this i'll just do 0 0.015 eth and a good portion of that's probably going to be eaten up by transaction fees uh, that's just the price of running a DeFi youtube channel all right so it's giving us some details about this you can see that it's prompting to add my solana network address here so i will go ahead and copy that enter the destination address and the reason you have to do this is that Unlike if you're bridging between two different networks within the same wallet, for example, if you're going from Ethereum to Polygon in your MetaMask or Ethereum to Arbitrum in your MetaMask, here, because you're going to a totally different network with a totally different wallet, RocketX has no way of knowing what your address is. So we are going to send it to this address here, and it's basically just going to hop it around on the back end to find the best rate. And then you can click on cross-chain swap. And you can see here, it'll take some time to validate the transaction. You'll be prompted to convert, confirm the transaction to proceed. 
which I just confirmed in my wallet. Gas fees were actually a little bit less than I expected, so can't complain about that. And you can see here, it's gonna take five to 15 minutes to appear on the new chain. And if in this time period, just know if it takes longer than it says here, don't fret. Sometimes during periods of high network activity, these bridges can take uh, minutes, sometimes even hours. I mean, I've heard during really busy periods, it can take as long as half a day or a day. It's going to work eventually 99% of the time. So just know that. And also, if you close out of this tab here, so say I say, whoops, I closed out of it. What do I do? Then there's actually a handy history tab right here where you can see your history. And so you can click on that, you can click on the transaction, then you can open up this status again. And so again, we'll just wait a couple minutes and the swap will complete. Fast forward a couple minutes and the transaction has finished processing. And if I open up my Solana Phantom wallet, then we can see that yes, indeed, that ETH that I sent through Rocket Exchange was converted to Sol and deposited to my Solana wallet. So pretty handy. It's as simple as that. It took about 15 minutes. If you want to learn about more tools for your crypto research, trading, and on-chain activity, I publish a weekly newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com. And here I highlight trends, I highlight on-chain analysis, and then I actually have a tool spotlight. And so for example, last week I highlighted RocketX as a useful tool that you could use in your crypto trading. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like this one and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.